today looking at members of the youth wing of the opposition National Unity Platform that have converged in Jinja for a convention. New President Robert Chagulani is expected to be the guest of honor at the youth convention. Now earlier on, police ordered all party supporters who had already gathered at the agriculture showgrounds to get out of the place for security check up. Raymond Tamale is on ground in Jinja and he's about to give us what is happening, what is the agenda of this convention and what are the expectations out of it. Good afternoon to you, Raymond. Good afternoon, Priscilla and all of those who are watching NTV at one. We're in Jinja at the Jinja Shop Ground where the NUP youth have converged for the NUP youth conversion for this year. Earlier, when we came into Jinja, the police had deployed on all roads, including the police, and uh, the army had deployed on all roads, maybe to deter those who might create any havoc in the city. With me, I have one of the youth with me, Shamim Nambasa, who is going to speak to us about the convention, basically about the theme and why they choose the theme and how the youth have participated in politics in Uganda. Welcome to NTV at One. Thank you. Uh, you can mention your name and then talk about the youth convention today and the theme. Yes, good afternoon everyone. I'm Dr. Shamim Nambasa. I'm a pharmacist, a youth and a member of the National Unity Platform. I served as the Guild President of Macquarie University 2021 to 2022 and I'm very glad to be here for the National NUP Youth Convention whose theme is the role of youth in redeeming Uganda. And we chose this theme because we believe that at the moment the youth or the young people who are below 30 years make up about 78% of the population. That, that means that we are the big number. We are the largest number and it is incumbent upon us to be part of whatever is going to take place in this country and even in the near future. I want to ask you, um, how do you feel like the youth have participated in the youth in Uganda? Because the last election showed that there was a lot of apathy from the youth who did not vote. How are you going to turn around this, this come, come this summer around 2026? Um, I want to believe that uh, activities like this is one of them that is going to motivate youth to understand that we play the biggest role in this country. We have the biggest voice, we are the biggest stakeholders, and we need to be part of the policies. We need to be part of the politics of this country because at the end of the day it is what affects all of us. If you are talking about issues of unemployment, issues of the education sector, the health sector, talk about whatever it is, trade, policy, everything, it affects us as the youth. So we are looking at having more and more of such activities to encourage the youth to embrace and be part of the political status quo and the politics that is going on in this country. Last one. Um, over and over again, uh, we've seen that the youth uh, across the country uh, towards the election change their minds and choose to vote for the government in power. How do you believe and how do you think you're going to do this so that as youth that you're going to make, maybe change their mindset about how they feel about government and maybe... Yeah. Um, I may need to substantiate what you have said, but I want to believe and I know that we have been kept in a state of poverty where if someone offers someone something, then they will vote for them. That as young people, as generally the population, that we are in a state of poverty that people are convinced to sell their votes, people are convinced to do whatever it is that it is. But where we are right now, I know that the youth know what is affecting us. They know the right things to do and also to address issues around uh, intimidation, on all the kind of situations that happen around elections, I know that that is what pushes youth to end up making maybe a few mistakes. And even then, we cannot completely substantiate that they actually do that because we see the violence and the kind of, um, how can I call it, all mishaps that happen around elections that we cannot really tell. But this time round, we are committed as youth to be part of the politics of our country, to make our statement and to definitely see that we are bringing change into this country. Thank you so much. I'm Nambasa, one of the youth leaders here at uh, Showgrounds Ginger, who have come to attend an NUP youth convention. Let me take you back to Sh uh, Sh Sh Naroga, who is in studio, to, to take you forward with NTV at one. We shall come back and show you more from this side, but also follow our bulletins, NTV Kusawemu and NTV Condition, for more details later in the day. My name is